So we just got access to Descript's brand new AI agent. So this is out in beta right now and I've only had it for a few days, but I've been using Descript so much lately for both editing our YouTube videos and a lot of our courses. And it's even now what I'm using to record our content into as well, this video included. But this new AI agent feature looks like this could take things to the next level and allow you to automate a lot of the awesome AI functionality that's already there in Descript, but to take it to the next next level as well. Which really, if this works the way that it looks like it could work or will work eventually, this will save people so much time creating content if it actually works. I've got to say, I am a little bit skeptical with this. There is a lot of awesome stuff already in Descript, but to add this level of automation in there, I guess we'll have to see how it goes. So I've got a sample project here now with some footage that I've dropped in. The raw footage is around five minutes 16 here. This is actually footage shot in widescreen, but I'll actually want to use this as a YouTube short. So this should edit down to around a minute. But you'll see, as with all the videos I make here on this channel, there's a lot of mistakes. There's a lot of retakes. Yeah, it's pretty raw. So we're gonna see if the AI can take all of that stuff out and create a great looking video out of this. So normally what you would do is come over here to Underlord, and this is where all of the AI functionality is here in Descript. But for this one now, this is what we're trying here, this AI agent. And we can see down the bottom here, we've just got this text box, how can I help? So we can just start typing in what we'd like this to do. But I think where I will start with this is let's ask it to analyze our script here. It's got access to it all, it's transcribed it for us. Let's ask it what it suggests we should do with this video. So I've written in, here is some raw footage from a short piece of content I'd like to turn into a YouTube short. What are your suggestions for achieving this? Let's just run this. Okay, that was really quick. Great, turning raw footage into engaging. Okay, it's scrolling, 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 let's come back. It's a little strange that this, like we're giving it a thumbs up or thumbs down right up front and it's kind of blocking the text. Okay, here's my suggestion to make the content stand out. First off, trim and tighten, I would agree. Second, add captions. YouTube shorts are often watched without sound. So adding clear, bold captions help the viewers follow along for sure. Switch it to vertical. Ensure your video is in nine by 16. Yep. And obviously all of these things we could manually do, but let's see how well it does in achieving this for us. I have an eye-catching intro. Start with the hook. First one to two seconds. Add some visual enhancements, zoom cuts and things. Add background music and branding. Okay. Would you like to start by trimming the footage, adding captions or focusing on other steps first? Let me know your priorities. So why don't we start out small here and why don't we get it to do step one and step three for us here and just see what happens. So we've got here, please perform steps one and three. Now, manners obviously optional, but maybe that'll save me when the AI take over. We don't know, let's hit submit. Again, this is really quick. You see that last one happened in 6.1 seconds. Okay, please perform step one and three. Great, here's my plan for steps one and three. Step one, trim and tighten. And step three, switch it to vertical form. Now, while this is doing this, we can see almost in real time over on the side here, it's going through and it's like scratching out, it's scrubbing out the mistakes, the bad takes that we have in here. And you can see that these big chunks of footage here have now been removed, which is so awesome. Okay, so it's making changes here now, it's adding scenes. So this is cool to see this build out. It switched it to vertical. Now what I haven't done here while this is still going is I haven't gone through and chosen a layout. So the way Descript works is you can apply different like templates or themes, layouts they call them. I haven't picked any here. So it just says intro layout. So I'm more interested in the editing piece than how this looks in terms of titles and stuff right now. But we can see it's doing what it said it was going to do. Okay, so it's still going and I'll put the time up here when it's finished, but I can see that it's even scaling up. You can see some of these are still showing as widescreen and then some of them are fully zoomed in. So it's cool to see that it's starting to scale these up. Interesting to see what it does. Okay, so it's done in 195.2 seconds, pretty quick. So both request steps are now complete. The footage has been trimmed and tightened on unnecessary pauses, mistakes, off topic comments. There was a few of those as well. And filler words, a lot of those have been removed. Only the cleanest takes and the main points remain, making the script concise and engaging. Awesome. So let's just stop here at this point and let's go and check and see what it's done. 
So at the start here, it might be hard to see, but I started out all right, we're recording, so I'm just checking. So yes, check the microphone, one, two, one, two, testing. Obviously we don't want any of that, it's removed it all. And then I had a first attempt here. You could have the world's best video, but if no one clicks on it, no one's going to see it. You need to get your video. Okay, so then I redid it again. So it has used the second take or the second attempt for this. So the editing piece looks good so far, removing all of this stuff at the start we don't want. I even had a comment here. Okay, I think that was better after this paragraph here and it's taken that out, so that's good. So this next one here is removed, so to help you with this, I can see I say this a few times, so to help you with this, and it's picked this one. So to help you with this, you need to make, and it's cut out, you need to make. All right, so here is something it hasn't caught. I've started the sentence again, so to help you with this, you need to make, so to help you with this. So this one here, we would just remove. So again, it's got it pretty close. And if this was all you had to do was to go through and just review this, then you've already saved so much time, but obviously it's not perfect at this point, but it could also be the way that I'm presenting the videos too. If it keeps going down here, we've got another one. Your thumbnail image also needs to be related to your video content. What am I doing with my hand here? So clearly another mistake. And then I've started again. Your thumbnail image also needs to be related. Okay, so this is another double up that it didn't catch. Now we could maybe test giving this more instructions as to which one it should use. Maybe we'll try that in a minute. But overall, it's done a pretty good job. And you can see that just this review piece is gonna be pretty quick. And even this last one, it removed all of this stuff here that I then just said way more concise uh, right through to the finish of the video. And it even cut off the, okay, I think that's pretty good. All right, yep, let's stop recording. Because I talk to myself, it's perfectly normal. I talk to myself while I'm recording the videos. So that was step one. Step two then was the video has been converted to nine by 16 vertical format. All scenes now use vertical layouts. Again, I didn't pick the layouts. So these are whatever the default are in here. The intro key points, transitions and outros are all formatted for portrait orientation, ensuring great mobile viewing experience. Would you like to move on to adding captions? Looks like there is some captions, maybe the titles, not captions. Visual enhancements or any other next steps. Let me know how you'd like to proceed. So before we proceed here, I can see that there's some of these aren't scaled up. So this one here is scaled up. This one isn't. This one isn't because there's a few. I was going to list them out to the AI, but maybe we can let it know. I noticed, again, we're being polite, that some of the scenes still show a 16 by 9, so widescreen video, unscaled. Instead of the reformatted or scaled up, 9 by 16 done in other scenes. Please scale up the footage in all scenes so they all match. I'm just put this here. I'm not sure if I need to give it this much, but scene three, this one over here, is an example of one that needs scaling up. Now let's just see. Thank you for pointing that out. Okay, so it agreed with me. Here's my plan. I'm gonna identify the scenes where the original video is displayed in 16 by nine format, unscaled. I will scale up the footage on those scenes. For example, scene three, as you mentioned, will be adjusted along with any other scenes. Awesome. So it goes through now, it's still thinking, so it's still performing this, but I love this. I've identified the scenes that likely need scaling up. Three, five, seven, which you specifically mentioned. Is this right? Three, five, seven, down to 16. Yeah, okay, awesome. So this is so cool that it's analyzing your footage and can recognize what it is I'm saying. I wasn't sure if I needed to give it that much context, but you can see here, in not long, it's actually done all of this here for us and it's now scaled up to be the right size. So down the bottom here, this is something that took me a little minute. Like it looks like it's not doing anything. The thinking piece was actually up higher. So that's something to be aware of. If it looks like it's not doing anything, just read back a little bit to where it says thinking up higher. Okay, so 63.5 seconds and the AI has gone through and it's scaled up our footage for us. Your YouTube short will now have a seamless professional vertical look throughout. And it's now saying if you'd like to review or make further adjustments such as adding captions, visual effects or branding, just let me know. Okay, please, again with the manners, add captions and visual effects. Again, I'm imagining this like most AI tools out there where the better the result comes down to how good the instructions or the prompt actually is. That was very broad. Please add captions and visual effects, which is what it's suggesting, but I'm sure that we could go much more detailed on that if we needed to. Okay, so it's acknowledged that here's my plan and I'm going to proceed to apply captions across the entire video, add visual effects and animated text. And again, we haven't specified fonts or layouts or any of that stuff, but already like it's looking pretty good. 
So we can see these titles are now coming in. If I click on this, I can click on it while it's working through, that's good. So we can see this big, easy to read text, and I'm sure we could probably even give it some instruction. Please make the text in the center of the screen or something like that once this is done. Now, while this is still going, if you have a look down the last slide here, it's even got a call to action slide. Follow us, social media handle. I'm sure I can provide this somewhere. Obviously I can just double click on it and edit that text to actually make it our primal video stuff. But it's not like we have to create these things from scratch. It's like, this is something you might wanna have in here. Let's add it in, or we can switch it off. We can remove it if we don't want it. Okay, completed, 166 seconds. Captions and visual effects have been added throughout your video. Every spoken line now has clear, easy to read captions. Perfect for viewers. Visual effects such as animated text have been added. The overall style remains consistent. Let's just hit play on this. Let's come back to the start and play. You could have the world's best video, but if no one clicks on it, no one's going to see it. So you need to get your content clicked on. And that's when your thumbnail strategy is so important. So this is pretty cool. The text, I like that it drops out when the zoom happens. And obviously maybe this is something we can control, but I don't mind it. I think it creates more uh, impact there for that section. But we can see that the captions and everything are pretty good. And so it's added these zoom ins on a lot of the shots here. Now, one thing we could get this to add, I saw in their demo video that this can help suggest add B-roll because Descript does have stock footage and things in here. What would you suggest for adding stock footage or B-roll? Let's see if it recommends it. Okay, so well, let's come back up here, scroll through. Adding is a great way to make your short visual, visually dynamic. Here are my suggestions, identify key moments. If you'd like, I can suggest specific moments in this video where B-roll would be most effective, yes. Search and insert relevant stock footage for those moments. Yeah, let's do those. Would you like me to review your script and recommend exact spots and themes for B-roll? Do you already have certain moments in mind? Let me know your preference. Please go ahead and add relevant B-roll where you think it would be effective. Now this I think would be a tough ask. In this short video, we're talking about making thumbnail images and the importance of thumbnail images. And I'm not sure how the stock footage archive in most websites and things would actually go when you're trying to find stock footage for this because it's so specific on thumbnail images, let alone the ones that Descript has access to here. But let's see. Okay, this is cool. So this is still going. And so it still says thinking down here. And this is where right now we can see it. As I said, sometimes it's gonna show that up a little higher. It's actually gone through and it's removed the background from my video. It's again, totally hands off. It's done all of this. It looks like it's even adding a subscribe button in here now. This is awesome. And so we can see here, the layouts have changed. So this one now has this new layout with subscribe. If we keep coming down, it's applied it here as well. So it's not every scene, it's given some thought as to what it thinks we could add to be engaging. This one as well. I'm not sure what's happening with this one, but again, let's let it do its thing. Okay, it says it's done in 237.3 seconds, very specific. Relevant B-roll and stock footage has been added. Each B-roll clip is short, visually engaging. Your short now has dynamic visuals. Okay, let's take a look because this one straight out doesn't look amazing. But uh, we've got our first scene here. Second scene was the zoom in. Then third, it's jumped to this. Let's play this scene here. See it. So you need to get your content clicked on and that's when your thumbnail strategy is so important. Okay, I mean, I don't hate it. I did nothing to create it. It's not bad. It's definitely not something that I would normally do. Yeah, different. Okay, let's keep coming down because it looks like some of these other clips here that it's picked, it's not scaled up. So let me play this one here. You need to make sure that your thumbnail images are grabbing people's attention, that they stand out. Okay, so that again, it was very quick. I like that it's quick attention grabbing and stuff, and maybe to help hold retention for a short form piece of content. But it looks like that clip isn't scaled or positioned correctly. If we come down, there was another one here that I saw someone editing. Again, maybe not a bad clip, but scaled wrong. So maybe we can come back and just let it know. The stock clips aren't scaled correctly for nine by 16 aspect ratio. Can you please scale them up so that they look correct? Thinking. Thank you for catching that. You're welcome. Here's my plan, identify and scale up. And you can see straight away, we don't need to confirm every little prompt, it's doing that for us. Okay, it's done, completed in 58 seconds. I just love how quick this is. All stock footage have been scaled up, now matches the vertical aspect ratio. Okay, 
So let's take a look now if we scroll back through here. Okay, this is looking a bit better. No one clicks on it, no one's going to see it. So you need to get your content clicked on and that's when your thumbnail strategy is so important. Okay, let's try the next one here. So to help you with this, you need to make sure that your thumbnail images are grabbing people's attention, that they stand. I mean, I guess that was a attention grabbing B-roll, not bad, but again, what would you put there? So I think that's a pretty tough ask here for it. So it hasn't really done a bad job. Let's have a look at this next one here. Thumbnail image also needs to be related to your video content. So best case scenario, if someone sees your thumbnail image, they can work out exactly what. Okay, to definitely scale it up, I do like the overall look of it. I love that it automatically chose to remove my background and position me down here and in different sizes. But some of these I was bigger, some of them are smaller. For some reason, we've got this clip here now that's gone back to the other aspect ratio. So we've got these black bars, top and bottom. But I mean, the time for us just to quickly grab this and scale that up is so quick that you wouldn't bother asking the AI to make that adjustment for us. We just do it. Now, one last thing I wanna test with this project will be to see if it brings in music and sound effects for us. Please add music and SFX, sound effects. Okay, so it's generated a plan for us. It's gonna add upbeat background music, insert sound effects, and it's gonna ensure that the music and sound effects do not overpower the voiceover. Awesome. Completed, 15 seconds, that was quick. Upbeat background music has been added. Sound effects have been added and they're balanced so they don't overpower. Let's review this. You could have the world's best video, but if no one clicks on it, no one's going to see it. So you need to get your content clicked on and that's when your thumbnail strategy is so important. So to help you with this, you need to make sure that your thumbnail image is on small screens, mobile devices. Okay, so I've clicked through a few scenes now and I can't hear any music. Maybe let's bring up the timeline. So we can actually see the edit that it's done. We've got our gradient, it added the captions, the text. I'm not seeing any music or sound effects. Again, this is in beta. This is only just brand new. Still gonna be some bugs and things in here, but no music or sound effects were added at this point. Okay, so I've just refreshed this because I am running this on their web version. And it does say that it just upgraded this too. So let's just ask it about the music. So I recently had you add music and sound effects to this and it said they were added, although it doesn't look like they were. Let's see what happens here. I've checked your project and here's what I found. Most scenes have three layers, which is typical for video, script, and possibly a graphic layer. A few scenes have only one layer. There is no clear indication that music or sound effect layers are present. Okay, yeah, I agree. So it's confirming that it didn't happen. Okay, now it says here, it looks like the current set of tools, this thing's in the way again, available does not allow direct addition of background music or sound effects. My capability to focus on scene layout. Okay, so maybe that's something that's coming soon that we will be able to do. But again, all we need to do is hit stock, go through and find some music and audio and stuff in here that matches and we could easily apply it that way. So my impressions on this so far is if this is the beta version and this is still early stage with bugs and stuff, I can't wait to see what the finished version of this looks like. This is already gonna save us so much time in what we're creating. And hopefully this has got some of the gears turning for you as well in how you can now approach your content creation and use tools like this to make videos better, faster, easier. Is it perfect? No, there's bugs. We had a few glitches and things on here, but I can see that if we built out a full set of instructions and maybe even adding in pauses, do this and then stop and I'll review, then do this and then I'll review. But we have a big prompt, like a template that we're able to use to tailor this up for your specific videos, for your editing style. Who even needs to learn how to edit in a real editing tool when we've got something like this that can do it for you? So yeah, I am totally pumped on this. I think this is awesome. I love the direction this is going. Anything that will help people make better videos faster, I am all for. And this is clearly a massive step in that direction. Now, if you wanna geek out even further with Descript, then check out the videos that are linked on screen. We even have a masterclass, a deeper dive training on how we use Descript and how you can get up to speed fast. That is linked in the description box below, along with a bunch of other resources to help you even further. So check those out, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.